Well, Thanksgiving is a family time and a gift for us, all of us today, is the promised return of a songbird who just feels like family here at Crossroads. Kalita, welcome. I can't say, can I say home? I can't because you're originally from the West. I am, but when I come back here, I always say, oh yeah, back home. Or this I'm is going one home. of your homes. Of course it is. I lived here a long time. You had the nerve to go to BC, yeah. um, but we're, we were happy for you. Thank and you. it really did feel like a loss to give you up to the Aww. West. But what are you thankful for now that you're a BC girl? Well, I love BC. We love BC. It's, you know what? The beauty of British Columbia is like no other. And Isn't the, that the slogan? Beautiful BC. Beautiful British Columbia, yes. Yeah. The mountains, the water, the lushness of, you know, everywhere you go. The trees, the tall trees. I notice that when I come back here, I go, oh, the trees are short. <laughs> but I'm so thankful. Don't take it personally, Ontario. No. But yeah, the big ones, the tall yeah. ones, and family and for family. you out west. Yes, I have. I have, my family is all from the west, so I have family in Alberta and BC. Yeah. Now, if people follow you on Facebook, I know they've been praying for you because mm -hmm. unfathomably, yeah. you have had another tragedy in your family. Yeah, we lost my brother to an accidental drowning in, uh, in April just off the coast, uh, uh, actually off uh, Vancouver Island. Just a terrible, terrible accident, truly. Just a freaky thing that happened. And, he was 58? Uh, he was 58, yeah. Which is young. Yeah, lost on the water, and uh, his body was recovered about six weeks later. Yeah, left two kids. I am sure that you were quick to see that your being there, being out there and available for yeah. so many who are grieving. Well, I think, you know, when Gord and I knew that we were moving, God moved us very quickly. We, we sold our house, we bought a new house, we moved my mother-in-law and we were settled and we did all of that in three months. Wow, <laughs> yeah. so you were established. Yeah. I mean, not that, that that's all top of the stress scale, yeah. but yeah. you were out there and positioned for what yeah. would be a very needy time. Yeah, it's been, it's wonderful. It's been, I don't know what I would have done being back here, to be out there where everything was happening, especially while they were trying to locate him. Um, it was just, the timing was perfect that, that we had moved there and that I could be there for, um, for his kids. You know, triumph out of tragedy is it's the my theme story. of your story. <laughs> yeah. And if we were to pull it all out like a string of pearls, I think yeah. people would start to sink. Uh, so many things, yeah. father's suicide, abuse as a child, uh, uh, I don't, uh, untimely deaths, your sister My before sister your brother. sister was nine years ago, yeah. And it, it just seems one thing after another. Yeah. You have become known as a woman who reaches into the soul yeah. of other women. Your, your latest CD, Heart yeah. of a Woman. Right. You understand those, yeah. those places of pain and have a unique ability to reach the wounded places mm -hmm. where people hurt yeah. in a way that brings hope. Yeah. It's yeah. what you're all about. It is what I'm all about. I mean, it's unfortunate that these things are learned, you know, through through trials, but it has given me a heart really to understand the pain of other people. And um, and I and I just, you know, I look at it like that. I look at that as a as a type of gift that God's given me. As hard as it's been, it really gives me an understanding of so many different people. And so many yeah. kinds of loss. Yeah. How does a little diminutive <laughs> dynamo like you keep your soul strong yeah. for so many storms? Well, I, I will admit to you that this has been, it's been a hard few months for me. Mm -hmm. Because you're sailing along, you think, okay, there's nothing tragic, nothing traumatic going on in my life, and then you're hit with something like that. And obviously, you know, you, you kind of kick into that, you know, high gear again. The adrenaline starts pumping and you go into that mode of being strong. But that can just be but, busyness yeah. well, that keeps you distracted. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily no. mean your soul's well. No. And so I'm, I'm really focusing in the next few months <laughs> on, on just taking some time for myself and, and self-care. You know, um, I'm also helping to take care of my 88-year-old mother-in-law. 
<laughs> she's not living with you. She's not living with us, but, but she lives. She moved with you. But she moved with us, and she lives about ten minutes away. So that has given me a whole new understanding of all of these women that I that I sing to and speak to that are going through the same thing. You know, there's so many women that are our age that are looking after their 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 elderly parents and it's a huge burden and there's so much of the demographic is moving into that right now so it's just you know everything I learn I hope I can encourage and pass things that I've learned on to others. Now you're not the classic sandwich because your son isn't with you he's no. back here in Ontario but yeah. that's still a tug on a yeah, mother's heart. Yeah I know heart. I know it was the hard to see student? it was hard to see so him go away. back after yeah. four months because he had the whole summer with us and he worked and yeah he, he was with us and, and we're, we're you know there's just the three of us Gord, Keldon and I but we're a pretty tight little family so whenever I come to Ontario I mean I always I always go down and, and see him. Do time with your little Definitely. boy. Yeah. Well you're here reminding us of it's not here it's actually back out in Calgary this event. Yes. Um, which, which has meaning on, on a lot of levels. First of all, your song is the theme of the conference. Yes, How yes, sweet yeah, is that? It is. It's not awesome. Jesus Moved Through Me mm -hmm. uh, for today's Businesswoman Conference and Awards. That's yes. October 12th to 15th. Yeah. You were the cover girl for their first magazine. I was. Was that, what, 2010? That was a couple years ago. Yeah. yeah. I think it was two years ago, right. Yeah. So you entrepreneurial woman, oh, you. Oh, wow, wow. And now you're going to be part of the ministry there. Mm -hmm. um, I like the theme, Jesus Moved Through Me. Yeah. If all of our women in business had that as their goal each day, yeah. we could change the world. We are changing the world. There's the attitude. <laughs> and we are going to hear that song. You know, the interesting thing is that, that does the name Zig Ziglar ring a bell? Yeah. Is there a more renowned motivational speaker I ever? Don't, I don't think so. Uh, how many years ago? I meant to check. How many years ago Zig was here? Oh. Three years after the death of his daughter in her 40s to a brain tumor. Oh, tragic. Left two young daughters, and that would be Julie Ziegler, Norman's sister. Right. And here's Mr. Happy, Mr. Mm -hmm. Stay on the Mountaintop. Mm -hmm. And he said he'd never seen a baby born and no one close to him had ever died wow. until his precious daughter right. died. And do you know what? He, he, he looked as if he was bleeding out, walking into the green room. And Kalita, mm -hmm. that day, mm -hmm. pretty unusual, we had a Southern Gospel Quartet uh -huh. on the program. You talk about the power of music. Mm -hmm. They sang those, you know, mansion over the hilltop yeah, type right. songs and it was like watching helium go into Aww. a balloon as Zig was reminded mm. of his daughter's true home and the real living hope that right. we all have and he was he was so lifted up mm. his book confessions of a grieving Christian is okay. why he was here all right. but uh, here's his uh, his surviving his daughter, daughter yes. speaking at this conference yes. and I understand she's a chip off the old block if oh. that's not disrespectful <laughs> Well, you know, she was his editor for years. Ministered with him, too. Yeah, yeah. So I look forward to meeting her at the conference. Yeah. Where is this being held in Calgary? It's in Calgary. But do you know where? You know what? Off the top of my head. We'll just have to go online <laughs> for that. Today's <laughs> Businesswoman Conference and Awards. And I'm so glad that they have you leading, Yeah, I'm excited to be there. Mm -hmm. You're doing something else that I love. Uh, I've only had a few opportunities, mm -hmm. but they've all been unforgettable. Living room concerts oh, right. for musicians mm -hmm. is a very popular way to take your gifts yeah. to an intimate setting. Yes, I love them. They're some of my favorite things to do. You know, people invite you into their home and invite guests, friends, or maybe people that they would like to get to know better in their neighborhood and, and you go in and and you do a concert. It's really private. It's very private and intimate and, and it's really nice to be able to, you know, share the stories behind the songs and, and to m mingle with the people that are there to hear your music. I love it. I love intimate settings. Well, I want to encourage people to be praying for you. Oh, thank you, Moira. Uh, you're a standard bearer there in your family and there's just so much uh, to process. I'm glad you're giving yourself some time and uh, we want to pray for your ministry as you go forward. Thank you. Uh, big, big weekend coming up, long weekend. And a wonderful song that we're going to hear. It's yeah. always your prayer, I know. Mm. You write great lyrics. Anything Thank you want to say before we let you go to that piano? Well, I just want to say that it's always nice to come home here. 
it is home. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise. And to see, and to see the familiar faces, and and uh, and I love the new set, by the way. Thank you. It's gorgeous. And I, I wore something to match. You're complimenting yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. Beautifully. <laughs> and you know what? It'll look just as nice in that part of the set. All right. On the, on the piano. Oh, Thanks, Keep Myra. coming back. I will. will if you'll you? have me back, I'll be back. You know, we just yeah. miss you. Thank you. And we will be praying. Thanks so much. I'll let you go that okay, direction. Sure. And uh, hey, what's your website? Kalita.com. Okay, Kalita.com. You know, we've just mentioned a few of the things that Kalita has had to trust God through and maybe it's been a trigger for something you're dealing with afresh. Let me remind you that our prayer lines are always available. And uh, whatever this fall season has you engaged with, I wonder if you'd be willing to pray this prayer as we listen to Kalita. Jesus, move through me.